What's up, everybody? It's your host with Entrepreneurial Edge, and today we're diving deep into the world of tech, but about the legacy of a true innovator. Sony. From their humble beginnings in post-war Japan to becoming a global powerhouse, Sony's journey is packed with highs, lows, and everything in between. Hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Our story begins in the ashes of World War II. Imagine Japan in 1946, a nation rebuilding. Two individuals, Masaru Ibuka and Akio Morita, had a vision. They started Tokyo Telecommunications Engineering Corporation in a bombed-out department store. Their first product was an electric rice cooker, and it flopped. This led them to shift focus to audio technology. In 1949, they launched the G-Type tape recorder, gaining recognition. Fast forward to 1955, and the world was on the verge of a technological revolution transistors. These tiny components were about to change everything. Sony licensed transistor technology from Bell Laboratories and got to work. The first major breakthrough? The TR55, Japan's first transistor radio. Imagine, suddenly, radios weren't these bulky things confined to your home. The TR55 was portable and cool. It took Japan and then the world by storm. With the success of their transistor radios, Sony had established themselves as a force to be reckoned with in the world of electronics. But they weren't content with just radios. They wanted to be in your living room, and they had just the thing to get them there. The Trinitron Television. Launched in 1968, the Trinitron wasn't just another TV. It was a technological marvel. We're talking vibrant colors, sharp images, a viewing experience unlike anything else on the market. The Trinitron became a smash hit, cementing Sony's reputation for quality and innovation. Having a Trinitron in your living room meant you were on the cutting edge. You appreciated the best. You were, well, you were living the Sony life. By the mid-1970s, Sony was on a roll. They were leading the charge in audio, they were killing it in the TV market, and they were ready for their next big thing, home video. They had developed a new format for video cassette recorders called Betamax, and they were confident it would be the future of home entertainment. But there was a problem, a big one. Another company, JVC, had developed their own format called VHS. What ensued was a format war for the ages, Betamax versus VHS, a battle for the hearts, minds and living rooms of consumers worldwide. Despite having arguably the superior technology, Sony lost. It was a tough lesson for Sony, a reminder that even the most innovative companies can stumble. Despite the setback with Betamax, Sony wasn't about to slow down. They were constantly innovating, constantly exploring new ideas, and in 1979, they unleashed something truly revolutionary. The Walkman. Remember, this was before the iPod, before smartphones, before streaming services. Music was something you enjoyed at home, in your car, or maybe at a disco if you were feeling adventurous. But the Walkman changed all that. Suddenly, you could take your music with you wherever you went. It was a cultural phenomenon. People walking down the street, headphones on, lost in their own world of sound. The Walkman wasn't just a product. It was a statement. It was freedom. It was individuality. It was, well, it was peak Sony. The 80s were a time of massive expansion for Sony. They wanted to shape the future of entertainment. In 1982, 
they partnered with Philips to develop the compact disc. The CD was smaller, more durable, and offered superior sound quality. Sony led the charge into the digital music era. In 1987, Sony acquired CBS Records for $2 billion. Sony became a full-fledged entertainment powerhouse. The year is 1994. The internet is in its infancy and a new revolution is about to hit the world of gaming. Enter the Sony PlayStation. It was their most ambitious. The PlayStation was a technological marvel, boasting 3D graphics and immersive gameplay that blew away the competition. Games like Gran Turismo, Metal Gear Solid and Final Fantasy VII became instant classics. Despite the challenges, Sony is not a company that rests on its laurels. They've been through ups and downs, triumphs and failures, and they've always come out swinging. Their gaming division, with the PlayStation 4 and now the PlayStation 5, continues to be a major revenue generator. They've doubled down on their image sensor technology, which has become the industry standard for smartphone cameras. And they've found success in unexpected places, like their noise-cancelling headphones. To stay relevant, they need to adapt, innovate, and never stop pushing the boundaries. So, what's the takeaway from Sony's incredible journey? It's a story of innovation, resilience, and pushing boundaries. From rebuilding Japan to global dominance, Sony has left an undeniable mark. They've had missteps, but also iconic, groundbreaking products. The Walkman, the Trinitron, the PlayStation, cultural touchstones shaping how we live, work and play. Sony will continue to innovate and evolve. They're not afraid to take risks and challenge the status quo. Maybe the next big thing is already brewing in a Sony lab. So, there you have it. 10 things you probably didn't know about Sony. From their humble beginnings to their global domination and their recent struggles, Sony's story is a testament to the power of innovation, resilience, and a relentless pursuit of pushing boundaries. What are your thoughts on Sony's journey? What's your favorite Sony product of all time? Let me know in the comments down below. And hey, while you're down there, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into the world of tech and innovation. Thanks for watching.